Hey guys, this is the video shared by Dan Robb. He is here pointing to um, something he thought was a bit suspicious in the sky. Uh, he's zooming in on it for us. Definitely looks strange, almost kind of like a sea creature, which is actually not a very uncommon thing to see. Now, what I found most interesting, and maybe you just saw it, is the lightning isn't acting like lightning should, where it fills up the sky in an equal amount of source, right? There's this, there's these beams that appear, and then they also seem to kind of sweep across the frame. And there you can see a couple just appeared, and he's pointing to um, that weird dark cloud there, um, or whatever else that might be. So I'm going to go ahead and slow it down, and we're going to see if we can find the beams, and there it is. Here's another uh, beam-like thing. It looks as if there's a wall or something that's preventing... The light's not dispersing in a way that you would think, right? So here he's, he's pointing to the, uh, the, the darker object and we can really see the different uh, columns of light. Here's another example. Now that one column of light looked like it got all the way up on uh, his hand. I mean, it was on him. That light was shining on him. And the column of not or no light was also um, on him. So we just saw some more columns. I'm gonna slow it down so we can get a better view. And again, another example. There's a white dot there, and then it disappears. Definitely not enough evidence for me to really play with theories, but certainly interesting nonetheless. So as I'm going through this video, I start realizing that something's gotta be making the light do this, right? It just doesn't act like that, that's not normal. So in the editing system, I started playing with the brightness and the contrast. And it's amazing what you can see, um, the different perspectives you can see by playing with those two editing um, opportunities, I guess. Maybe you should call them. And notice this is the part where his hand is also in and out of the light. Maybe this is a digital thing, I'm not sure. But when I was playing with the brightness and the contrast, I noticed that the light seemed to be emanating from the sphere. And then I noticed that the sphere itself seemed to be what was producing the light. And here I'm gonna slow it down to 10% speed so you can see. Again, that light is coming out of this sphere. Let's slow that down. There's the wall, the back and forth of the light. It almost looks like a beam shooting out of this gaseous cloud-like sphere. Exactly in the directions he heard the screams. So the ball diminishes completely and then comes back again. And look at that massive uh, columns there. I'm gonna slow that down. It looks like the light was shooting down and then headed towards Dan's direction, moving away again. He follows the sound of the noise and this is the, uh, the sphere now over here. If this is something technical that I'm not aware of, please inform me with examples. I don't like to just believe people. I want to know exactly what is going on. And I'd like to have examples of, of this um, to prove as additional evidence as to why this is completely normal. But let's watch this sphere move a little bit and then we're, it's gonna happen again. We're gonna slow it down and then here's the beam. And notice it kind of looked like it turned clockwise there, right? So I'm gonna do this again. Here comes the beam, and now it turns clockwise. Now it's really dimming. It looks like it's getting further away because you can see light hitting the horizon in the far distance right there. 
I haven't, I've seen lightning in this storm, but no, no actual lightning here. Just the light um, itself dispersed. So there it seems far away. It, the light's going in the distance, and then it's going to come back and get even brighter here. There it is. Slow down 10%. Let me know what you think, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let's have a discussion. And thank you so much to Dan.